Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. There is only one word to properly describe the majority of Get Out, the movie hitting theaters this weekend, that serves as an audacious feature film directing debut from Jordan Peele of the comedy team Key and Peele. That word, my friends, is unsettling. This movie doesn't scare you so much as it keeps you in a constant state of gradually building discomfort that is really, truly something unique to be celebrated. Director Jordan Peele really throws down the gauntlet here because he is primarily known for comedies and you could see this entire film as a dark comedy, kind of. There's certainly a fair amount of comic relief, supplied mostly by a character played by Lil Rel Howery, who steals every scene he's in, but the very specific tone of this movie, well, I'm sort of reminded of the expression, whistling past the graveyard. And that's the most apt description of the journey of the main character here, who is named Chris and is played to perfection by Daniel Kaluuya. He just goes through this weird situation, trying to keep his composure, and maintains a sort of bemused detachment when faced with a situation that begins with mild social anxiety, then builds in a slow, disquieting burn to a point of genuine terror. And by the time that affability gives way to sheer fight or flight, it's way too late. The situation is this. Chris, a photographer with some tragedy in his past, is traveling with his girlfriend of four months, Rose, who is played by Alison Williams, to meet her parents out in a remote New England wooded town somewhere during a weekend that will include a large party of some sort. To African-American Chris, that's an awful lot of white people to meet all at once. Causing further anxiety is that, despite Rose's promises that his race won't matter, it turns out that her parents don't yet know that Chris is black. So there's the racial angle in a nutshell. Now, what's fun about this movie is that the movie is about race, yet it isn't, but yet it is. When it's all said and done, and believe me, I wouldn't dream of spoiling this movie for you, even though its trailer makes no such promises, Chris's race, or the race of any of the other characters, doesn't really end up meaning all that much to the plot. But the feeling of general unease that the movie creates, and keeps going throughout its running time, begins with Chris's racial anxiety of arriving at a house, and later being at a party with so few black people, and ends up being a metaphor for the way that minorities can feel when they're vastly outnumbered in social situations. They can't quite put their finger on the specific thing that's making them uneasy. No one's being overtly racist towards them. There's just a sort of off feeling about it. Something just eh, not quite right about the situation. Just like there's something not quite right about this family, or this house, or the pair of black people who work there, or the people that populate this party. And metaphor firmly established, the movie luxuriates in this situational discomfort and Chris's doomed attempts to stay level-headed throughout it as he gets deeper and deeper entrenched in this cadre of weirdos. And what a cast of weirdo characters that populates this movie, from the creepy-looking parents played by Brad Whitford and Catherine Keener, to the party guests, my favorite of which is a blind art dealer played wonderfully by Stephen Root, who tells Chris his photos show real talent, even though he's blind, because his assistant has described them to him in great detail. More great characters are found in Alison Williams as the girlfriend guiding him through the weekend, to the aforementioned comic relief provided by Howry as his TSA agent friend giving him advice over the phone. There are some great characters here, all played by an outstanding cast. I'm especially impressed with the character of Chris himself, whom Peel has written a pretty strong backstory for that informs us of his actions somewhat, but wasn't ultimately necessary to move the plot forward. It does, however, end up providing some real depth to his character and deepens his nightmare scenario by giving him real demons to battle that are not even related to his current situation. The only character I didn't quite like was that of Rose's brother, played a little bit over the top by Caleb Landry Jones. He ends up just sort of tipping the movie's hand a little bit too much, just a little too early. As for the solution to the movie's central mystery, I must admit it's telegraphed pretty heavily, and personally, I had it figured out well before the final reel. There were some twists of the plot that I didn't see coming near the end, so serious points there, but the end was, I felt, a little rushed, and could have been mined for more tension by drawing it out a little bit more to adequately service this deep roster of interesting characters. The price you pay for the slow, and I do mean slow, burn of the entire movie preceding it is a frenetic conclusion that lays the hammer down a little too quickly after spending the entire movie luxuriating in creepy atmosphere. I award Get Out a large bag of popcorn. Pacing issues aside, this movie cast me under its spell, made me uneasy, and completely entertained me for its entire running time. 
Get Out is a fresh, unique, and thought-provoking experience and a thrilling introduction to a bold new cinematic voice. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more and support us by clicking subscribe while you're there and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Get Out in the comments as well. Did you like it? What did you get out of the experience? Let me know. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel. And damn, these white people be crazy.